Window Sunshine by Bill Withers is in standard tuning and is a great song for beginners because it's a song that everybody knows and you just need to use three fingers the entire time. It's going to be based around A minor chords, E minor chords, a G7 chord, and also a D minor chord. The way that you make your first chord, and we're going to, again, be just using our first three fingers for all these chords. You're going to take your first finger and put it on the sixth string fifth fret. You're going to block out the fifth string. So the typical A string is going to be blocked out by how you're laying your first finger. You're going to take your second finger and put it on the fourth string fifth fret. And then your third finger is going to go on the fourth string, I'm sorry, the third string fifth fret. So you've got along the fifth fret, your first finger, second finger, and third finger on strings six, four, and three. And you're going to use uh, on this hand, also just three fingers, your thumb, your first, and your second finger for your picking hand. This is going to be finger picked. You'll pluck with your thumb the lowest sixth string, and then you'll use your second and your third finger to pluck up on strings four and three, which you've got fretted. And that's going to be also the picking pattern for the vast majority of the song is like a uh, a pluck down and a pluck back up. So again, the first chord is just the A minor. Uh, you'll pluck the A minor and you'll pluck up twice with your first and second fingers. And then immediately after that second pluck, you're going to go into the E minor, which is pluck down on the sixth string your thumb, open sixth string, and then you're going to pluck up with your first and second finger on the open fourth and third strings, and that's going to be our E minor. So pluck down on the open six, pluck up on the open three and four strings. So you've got your A minor, E minor, and you're just going to do the E minor one time. So pluck down once and pluck up once, and then you're going to go to the G7 where you take uh, your first finger and you're going to put it on the 6th string 3rd fret. You're going to take your 2nd finger and put it on the 4th string 3rd fret. You're going to put your ring finger on the 3rd string 4th fret. So 6-3, 4-3, 3-4. And you'll pluck down with your thumb on the 6th string and pluck up with your 1st and 2nd fingers on strings 4 and 3. And then come right back up into the A minor chord. And it comes together like... And then every time it comes back around to the A minor, it rests for the back ends of those measures and then comes back into the down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Mm, mm, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then the change in the song is going to come up to another E minor, an E minor that we're going to make differently, where we'll run on the fifth string up to the seventh fret with our first finger. So fifth string, seventh fret, first finger. Your second finger is going to go on the third string, seventh fret. And then your ring finger is going to go on to the second string eighth fret. And it will be the exact same motions that we were doing on strings six through three, except for now we're doing strings five through two. The, uh, the open third string, or the open fourth string, I'm sorry, the D string will be blocked out by how you're laying your first finger, just like how the open fifth string was blocked out by how you were laying your first finger in these chords up here. So this is our, our second E minor. And it does a round of that four times. Two, three, four. And then after four, it goes down two frets to what a D minor will be. This D minor is first finger on the fifth string fifth fret, a muted out fourth string, second finger on the third string fifth fret, and then ring finger on the second string sixth fret. So on this D minor you're going to be doing the uh, down up down up four times as well there. Two, three, four, and then back into the main riff of the A minor. E minor, G, A minor. Now 
As you listen to the song as you're playing this, what I'm telling you to do may sound very choppy to you. But that's what the acoustic guitar is doing in this song. I think most people, whenever they listen to this song, they hear uh, in their mind the very kind of flowing, fluid strings that are taking place. So if you don't like the choppiness of how I'm showing you to play it here, you can play it more open by using just a standard A minor chord, standard E minor chord, standard G chord, and then back in the standard A minor chords. But if you're wanting to play the acoustic part the way that Bill Withers plays it on the album, that's how you do it. Those are the chords to Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers.